In this video, I'm going to share with you 10 stock picks, 5 long and 5 short. Why 5 long and 5 short? Because I'm not sure where the market will go this week. It can continue the upside or make a pullback. So I want to be hedged both ways, both long and short. And both of my strategies, long and short, they work on a bullish and bearish market. This is some backtest of the short strategy. So even though we're on a bullish market, the short strategy, it's, it works. And if the market stays bullish, the long strategy will always work. So if you want to get in only four to six trades, you can pick three from longs and three from shorts. If it's your first time watching me, you can join our Discord. And I share with you all my trades and all my wins and losses are shared in this channel. So everything is open, you can join and check. So let's start with ROST. So based on technical analysis, this has a good chance for a bounce back. You can see this is a long term channel and I can make a shorter term channel. It's at the low of the channel with many indicators showing a reversal sign like the MACD marker and stochastic. So I personally find it's a good buying opportunity. If you want to keep a space to average down, this is the green zone. You can buy always within this green zone. And I expect a bounce back to this level, to 130 level, which will be around 10% profit. The second one will be a short on DVN. Based on technical analysis, this has a good chance for a reversal. So I'm currently short on DVN. And I expect a pullback to 28.5 level, which is again 10% profit. But any pullback level to 30 to 29, this level, I'm going to get out of my position. Because a lot of my positions, they are options. So I sell contracts. I sell either put or call options. So if it drops 5%, the option will almost be worthless. I can close my position with 80 to 80 to 90 percent profit this is some trade examples you can see i closed on ups it was at 5.5 when i went short and i closed at 1.13 even though if you check ups the stock was almost break even but with with options i almost stayed break even yes you can see this i was long here and i went short right here and from my entry, it only dropped 2%, but with options, I was in 80% profit, even 90% profit. So you can do both shares or options, but you need to be aware of with options, if you're selling contracts, you need to have the money of at least 100 shares of that option. Because if it expires and you need to short or buy 100 shares, that's the capital that you should have. So as said, the second trade was on DVN. The third trade is on CLX, Clorox. Clorox is at a great buying opportunity right now. I got in at 176. If we go on a weekly time frame, if it's oversold on a weekly time frame, it has a much higher chance for a bounce back. So you can see this is very close to my strategy. I bought at this dip. I can keep a space to average down within this green zone. And I expect a bounce back to 200 level. And that's where I'm going to take profit, which is around 13%, 14% profit. And after that, you can let your winners run with the 9 exponential moving average. The fourth trade is on Ford. Ford recently had good news. So if you're going to get into this trade, you should manage your risk well. And I'm getting into this trade only based on technical analysis. Because if the market drops, there's a high chance that it will drop too. So you can go short from this level and take profit whenever it reaches to 14.48 level. And based on other technical indicators, it shows a high chance of a pullback. And based on the strategy with this technical patterns, I showed you the backtest of the strategy. There's 80% chance that it will drop within the next 30 days, 10%. Even more, 85%. The fifth trade will be long on ECL. ECL is moving in this channel and at this point it has a good chance for bounce back. So if the market goes up, this has a good chance for a bounce back. So I'm currently in at uh, 212 and I want to sell around 228 level. And that's around 6 to 7% profit, 8% that range. 
The sixth trade will be on SGMS and it's a short position. So I went short on SGMS when it was around 70 or 72 this range. And I'm going to take profit when it drops around 10 to 12%. So you can go short on SGMS and take profit around 60 level. My position on SGMS is currently selling a call option and expiry after 3 weeks. So if it expires below 75 after the 2 weeks or 3 weeks, I'll take the full premium. So I really don't care if it drops too much or stays break even as long as it's close to 75 range. Because of time decay, even if it stays break even, I can end up in profit. Like it happened on UPS. Stock only dropped 2% but with options I was around 90% profit. The seventh trade will be on ICE. I bought ICE when it was 110. It, it's currently up 2% from my entry. If you want more accurate entries, you can just join our chat room and get those trades live. So I got in into ICE at this point and I want to sell around 120 which is the mid to high of the channel. This is my target. The eighth trade will be on NUE. I think NUE is the best performing stock in S&P 500 and it's currently overbought and I expect a small pullback. I was short at this point and it dropped around 7% and I did not take profit. Currently bounced back but with options I'm in small profit because of time decay. So with this trade I expect a pullback to this level, the same level, but this time I'm going to take profit. So if the market drops, I'm going to take profits on the short positions and if the market goes up, I'm going to take profit on the long positions. The next two positions you can see this trades from my positions. I typed wrong positions. Yeah, you can pick one of those like Apple, MPW, uh, WDay. I can show you the charts later, but this is some picks and there's a lot of stocks that I took profits. You can see all my trades here. And I have some positions which are profit now like Tesla, MA, Disney. So if you're new here, you can join our chat room. There's 14 days free trial. I share all my trades and my wins and losses. I'm currently up around $10,000 if I don't consider my GME loss. So only from those strategies, I had 95% win rate since, since the start of 2021. You can see all the trades, everything is open. So if you're new, make sure you subscribe and give a try to our chat room. Good luck and see you in the next video.